How big a loss is Tootin here for the next two to three? Oh, it's, it's a big hole. It's a big hole, but it's opportunities for other guys. And, um, you know, Jack's a guy who can, he can chew up ice time. He can, yeah. you know, he can handle the big, weighty players. He's proved it in the past, so he might be a guy that we have to lean on. Um, but Nikitin and Savard have done a good job this year. We're, we're just going to have to lean on more guys. And Dalton Prout coming up, uh, we saw the way that he can play yep. uh, based on last season. And there's been some struggles this year, but we're confident that he can step in and uh, provide some big minutes for us too. It's kind of hopping on a speeding locomotive here at the last 24, right? I mean, it's it's, it's going to be it, – it should get that way. Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping it gets that way. But there's going to be big games that we're playing. There's going to be big games going on every night. Uh, you know, we got a little help last night. Everybody did uh, up in Buffalo, and that's the way it's going to go. There's teams playing tonight, and teams are going to get points every night. And we got to make sure we take care of ourselves, which means uh, going out. And we aren't going to win every game. We know that. But it's going out and playing hockey the right way and trying to get as many points as we can. Just duplicate what you did last year, right? Well, yeah, it's easier said than done, I think. Right. You know, going 19-5-5 five and five down the stretch. But, you know, even this last little run that we've been on, you know, we've, we've had yeah. some success. And, again, we just got to keep doing the right things, keep playing Blue Jacket hockey. Todd, we make a big deal out of, about lines, but do you, do you have the flexibility now to sort of mix and, and match more as the game goes along? Like, I don't know where you've got Gabrick opening up tomorrow night, but might he – be on the move at certain times in different games with different lines? Uh, well, a lot of it's going to be dependent on, on his play and, and what he's doing throughout a game. You know, right now I got him starting just because he's missed a lot of time and he's coming back. Plus, I like the way that the other lines were playing. Yeah. I got those top uh, three lines intact the way that they were. You know, Gabby is a guy that you might have to slowly get involved in the games just because he missed so much time. But he's a guy that can have immediate impact because he's a talented offensive player. So it's getting him some power play minutes to try and put him in situations where he can use that offensive talent. As a coach, is it a nice thing to have 14 healthy forwards? It's a, it's a nice thing. You know, it provides yeah. that, uh, uh, gives you some cushion, obviously, if there's any bumps or bruises right. or an injury, you have somebody that's ready to, to jump in. Plus, there's that, that uh, inner team competition yeah. uh, for ice time to get in the lineup, uh, power play, penalty kill. Uh, you know, that helps drive your team. Who do you have? Placing Tootin with Jack at this point. Well, I think right now we'll start with uh, with uh, Prout there, just because again it's the other two groups, meaning Ryan Murray and Wiz have done a good job, and we like Nikitin and Savard. Yeah. You call somebody up from Springfield today? Uh, that's something we got to talk about as a group. Okay. Now, you know, right? We're we're playing one game. Uh, we're just going to New Jersey. Right. And, you know, we have an afternoon game on Saturday, so we'll, we'll discuss it. Figure out what's best for us, what's best for Springfield, and then we'll go from there. How do you do? You proceed with Bobrovsky as you would have before the break. Is it just go, or does he? Do you have to see where he's at coming back? Well, what, oh, I'm not worried about how he is coming back. I'm. Uh, he's a very prepared, focused professional, and I know that's how he how he's going to perform and and be through the next 24 games. You know the. The one thing that we're going to have to be careful of is just how we use him. And, uh, you know, he is your, he's your thoroughbred out on the racetrack. And, yeah. you know, you gotta, you got to play him and ride him, but you also got to be careful. So, you know, every game is going to be important. And, and uh, you know, Curtis McElhaney has done a good job for us. So the, there is a, a comfort level and a belief that, you know, regardless if Bob's not, not in, if he does need a rest, that Curtis can go in and do a great job for us. Have you scheduled the, 24, the last 24 games with the goalies? Or have not. Feel it? Have not. I, that's something uh, I don't think I'll, I'll go over the last 24 games. I think we'll, we'll go maybe take a look at, at the next week yeah. and see where we're at. You know, right now they're, they're spaced out a little bit. Starting next week, we got back to backs. Okay. And then we're going to have to make decisions there. Como healthy? Yeah. And for him, it's just, is, is he in tomorrow night? Uh, right now, the, my, my plan's going in is you got Gabrick on the right side with yeah. Latescu and McKenzie. Okay. So it's just it's wait your turn. And uh, right now, yeah, that's that's what it is. And again, we'll, you know, going into the break, I like the way that the the team was playing. Yeah. I and mean, you're getting a, a healthy Gabrick back. Sure. To me, we got to get him in, and yeah. he, he's got to play. He's got to get the reps. Uh, might not be as many reps as as, as maybe he wants right. tomorrow, but some of that would be based on. 
uh, his play, but also me just a feeling and, and trying to work him back into uh, playing these games because these games, again, are going to be ramped up. At least that's what I'm expecting. So he starts on that fourth line then? Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll start, start there. there. Next 24 hours, uh, Todd, as a coach, what's, what's the biggest concern for your team uh, before puck drop tomorrow night? Uh, well, the things that we've talked about already. It's just being ready to go from the start, the drop of the puck. You know, I, I think if you come in hesitant or uh, you come in a little bit unprepared, and I'm talking as a group or as an individual, uh, you might be chasing. And, and we don't want to be chasing the game because if you end up chasing this game, next thing you know, you're chasing in the standings. And uh, we want to uh, do the best that we can to put ourselves in the right position, not only in the game tomorrow, but also in the standings. You've been really good against the Devils this year. What, what's facilitated that? I think we were really fortunate in the second game, 5-4 uh, game here at home, where they were up 3-1. We weren't playing good at all. And uh, Dubinsky, Atkinson, and uh, Matty Calvert basically turned that game around for us. We ended up coming back and winning that game. And, and you re I remember reading the comments from them, and they were really disappointed in that game. And I agreed with everything that they said, because to me, that was their game. Um, and other than that, I think the first time we played them here, we played them well. And up in their building, you know, it was a 2-1 shootout win. And I think that's how you have to expect going in to play these guys. Chances are going to be limited in, in their zone. And if we do a good job checking and, and shutting them down, it's going to be a one nothing, two one game. It might be, might get to three two, but I, I, I yeah. but but I th I'm, I'm expecting a two one game. And uh, you know your specialty teams have to be good. If you get an opportunity on the power play, um, you know traffic at the net, because you aren't going to get a lot of plays off the rush. You're going to have to find ways to create some <laughs> offense, and generally that's going to be power play or or something breaking down in their offense and in their defensive zone.